I, I, I did not realize when I said that, that he would actually go on television and say, I'm going to use the military to round up my political enemies. When I said that, I didn't, General Flynn, who's going to be very senior in this administration, didn't say that the gates of hell will rain on my political enemies. When I said that, I didn't know that he was going to schedule a rally at Madison Square Garden to mimic the Nazi rally of 10 February 1939. So we have, they're, they're, they're telling you, and by the way, if they win, they're going to correctly say, we have, we told you in the election what we were going to do, and you voted for us, you have green-lighted the whole thing. And if we don't tell people about that, if they don't, if these young black men, what, how do you think they're going to do? If you're a young black male and Trump inspired uh, army roundup of people, how well do you think you're going to do in that? You think you got nothing to lose? How about looking at American history for one time and see what can happen here? And they. So basically, what this guy is saying is that they're worried. They're so worried. They're so shocked by the reaction to Obama's dressing down of black men on national TV and how it was received that they're now resorting to basically saying that Trump, when he gets in office, he's going to round up all black men and throw them in jail. You'll see only right here on Fox 5. We were there and the only TV crew along for what police call the takedown of some of the most violent gang members they've ever seen. All right, Lisa Evers joins us now with her exclusive look with the NYPD. Lisa. Well, Stephen Natasha, we had that firsthand look at how the NYPD is bringing alleged gang members who terrorize their own community to justice. And now the Bronx DA says they've been charged in a 176 count felony indictment. Nay Benz, police, police say you're a trigger puller. Police say you're a trigger puller. Is that true? What? Police say you're a trigger puller. Is that No, no, I love you. We're here at a secret undercover location in the Bronx where NYPD detectives are getting ready to launch a manhunt for nearly two dozen gang members wanted for serious felonies, including murder. Wait, you two dozen? I thought they was rounding up all black men, like all black men. Oh, that's when Trump, yeah. So when Trump gets in office, they're just going to round up all of us. They're not just going to round up the gang members who are shooting in public and their shootings are caught on camera, confidential informants, are ideas them as the shooters, their own homeboys that have been arrested before, are ratting them out. Guns are being found. Uh, wiretap, they're just going to lock up all black men once Trump gets in office. Okay, I got you. It's a Lisa Evers exclusive. It's before dawn on Wednesday, but NYPD detectives from the Gun Violence Suppression Division, called GVSD for short, are joined by detectives from Bronx precincts and warrant squads for this important mission. So they're just going to change the name of this from the Gun Violence Suppression to the Black Man Roundup Click. Because the it don't matter what you did. If you don't matter if you've been shooting people in public. It don't matter if you've been involved in RICO and gang activity. If you're a black. When Trump gets in office, they're gonna round you up. Mission. Your mission. Stopping the reign of terror caused by teens, young men, and a few women who engage in running gun battles with their opposition or ops at all hours of the day and night, no matter who's in the way, right in their own community. These cases are the single most impactful reason that shootings trend downwards. The targets are 20 members of the Slattery Gang based out of Slattery Playground in the Fordham section of the Bronx. Time up. 20 members so once trump gets in office they're just going to arrest all the black men in the, in the bronx that's a lot of, man it's got to be at least five hundred thousand brothers in the bronx man um where they gonna put them at where trump gonna put them at 
I'm trying to figure that out. And that's just the Bronx. What about Brooklyn? What about Jersey? What about Baltimore? What about Philly? Where are you going to put all these people at? If they win, they're going to correctly say, we have, we told you an election what we were going to do, and you voted for us. You have green-lighted the whole thing. And if we don't tell people about that, if they don't, if these young black men, what, how do you think they're going to do? If you're a young black male and Trump inspired uh, army roundup of people, how well do you think you're going to do in that? You think you got nothing to lose? How about looking at American history for one time and see what can happen here? And that. Wow. Yo. Salute to all the brothers that made videos against Barack Obama and what he said and his harsh rebuke of black men because they are worried. I mean, the Democrats are in panic mode. They're so panicked that they, they're out of control. They're like, they're like literally out of control. Their heads are spinning. Trump is going to get in office and round up all the black men. He's saying an investigation that started in Cedar Park led to the arrest of 20 gang members in Georgia. Four of those suspects are accused of robbing a vape shop in Cedar Park last month. KBU's Matt Fernandez joins us now in the studio to explain how police connected the men to crimes in Georgia. Matt? Right, police say this started as a robbery back in March at a vape store called Black Rock Vape. A worker at the store claimed several men pulled out guns and robbed him, taking money and vape products. Through the investigation, police were able to identify the robbery suspects that included Ashton George, Brandon Thomas, J.K. Lewis. Okay, <laughs> so when Trump gets in office, they're just going to run all the black dudes in Georgia. Not just these ones that robbed the vape shop in, okay. And John Frazier, all of them from Georgia. Police say they were among 20 gang members arrested in Georgia. Police were able to track them to a home there. Cedar Park Police and Georgia authorities then searched a home on Friday where the suspects were arrested. This is a look at the guns and drugs confiscated as well. Officials say the gang was using the home as a drug distribution hub and launching yeah but it don't matter <laughs> it does it doesn't matter even if they don't find this stuff they find books man you black you getting rounded up and locked up when trump gets in office they're, they're, they're telling you and by the way if they win they're going to correctly say we had we told you an election what we we're going to do, and you voted for us. You have green lighted the whole thing. And if we don't tell people about that, if they don't, if these young black men, what? How do you think they're going to do? If you're a young black male and Trump inspired uh, army roundup of people, how well do you think you're going to do in that? You think you got nothing to lose? How about looking at American history for one time? and see what can happen here. And they are... I find this disgusting, and I know a lot of brothers, because 80% of us still voting Democrat, let's be honest. They're, they're doing this because maybe 20% at the most, like at the very most, 20% of black men will vote Republican this election. And they're doing this. You're going to the 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 Republicans. If you let them in office, they're going to round you guys up, all of you, and put you in prison. That's just with at the most. Even the the best polls, the most favorable polls, are saying that twenty percent of black men are going to vote Republican this election. At their most. Imagine what they would do if 50% of black men voted Republican. I don't know what they would do, man. It's absolutely terrifying to think about what they might do 
if 50% of brothers voted Democrat. Get in the comment section. I mean, voted Republican. Well, yeah, 50% voted Democrat. Yeah, I was right. As if 50 vote Republican, 50 gonna vote Democrat. So if only 50 voted Democrat, <laughs> yo, who knows what they would do if they're doing this just off of the thought it hasn't official, it's not official yet, but that projections say 20% of brothers might vote Republican, might stray off the Democrat plantation. And they're telling you that the, the op opposition is going to round, not the criminals, all of you up and throw you in dungeons if you do that. 